In this video, I'm going to show you how to call a JavaScript function in the browser, but from Java running on the server side, and the other way around, how to call a Java method in the server from a JavaScript function. All right, so I have uh, this project here, and in fact, <laughs> there are many projects because uh, this is part of my upcoming book on Vadin, but this is the important one. This is just a Vadin project with one class, with one view. Uh, that extends vertically out and it's uh, this mapped to this uh, route. So let's create a new button here that says uh, toggle. And let's assign this to a new variable and a new image as well. Um, so I guess this requires this the source and the alt. Okay, so I'm gonna grab the link from here from the OpenJDK page, copy image link, a very uh, cheerful duke and maybe we want to make this image uh, widthful, maybe that's uh, a good idea and of course we need to add the button and the image to the vertical layout so let me open a web browser over here and let's request that view don't show this again yeah so it's working now what we want to do is we want to call a JavaScript function from here this is server-side Java and so for that we need to create first a new uh, JavaScript file here in front end so I'm gonna call it script.js make uh, sure that you are adding it here mm, there we go let me move this over there so we can see the Java code at the same time. And we need to load that file with JS module. And it was called script.js. Okay, so now we can we can uh, define the function here. So you might think it's a good idea to just go ahead and create a function like this. Function, uh, let's say toggle, and we pass the element, right? But in fact, what we want to do is uh, add a new object to the window Mm, scope if you wish and let's move this over here and so the notation should change to this because it's an object and so this object is going to be a function and now we can implement the um, the functionality to toggle the visibility let's say of this um, uh, image and I'd like to use jQuery so we need to load jQuery the way you do it is the same it's, uh, it's actually a script and I'm gonna get it from here I have the page ready so let's copy this uh, link that is jQuery and now we can use jQuery here so let me select the element and I think it's a uh, fade toggle I hope that's the correct one um, I think it is well we can we can just try here so we want to call that function when we click this button it's a button that add click listener event and here we're gonna call that um, that function so how, how to do that UI that get current dot get page execute JS and here we can put any uh, JavaScript JavaScript um, expression so we need to use this uh, namespace dot toggle and we pass the parameter so the parameters we we specify them here I need to pass the what we need to toggle which is the image and I need to specify the position here starting with zero the position here in this list of parameters um, so you of course can use one two three if you have more uh, parameters here right like this would be the parameter one two etc Okay, very good. I think um, and this should work. Let's see if this uh, restarted automatically. There we go. So now we can toggle the uh, cheerful duke. Very good. Mm. What else can we do here? Um, how about returning something? If we want to return for example, new date dot, uh, let's use, I guess this, that should be a string. Uh, how can we use that 
that value here in the in the server side. So if you if you have a look at this method, it returns a pending JavaScript result. That means we need to use the then method. Let me format this a little bit. And uh, we have the result here. Result that we can use. So for example, notification dot show um, result as string. Let me format this again. Okay, uh, so that's that's how you use uh, the the return value from the function. But there's a there's a there's a problem still. So let me refresh this to reload everything. Uh, you will see that this is no. So it's not really taking that. It's because this result is the return value from this expression and this is not returning anything we need to say return some value right so remember to put this uh, return here mm. now let's uh, let's try that again toggle now we see uh, that it shows the the date very good okay uh, how about the other way around how can we call uh, a java method from JavaScript. So let's let's um, explore that. For example, let's say we want to add a click listener to this. Of course, you can add it just uh, uh, with add click listener, but uh, we wouldn't learn much if we do it that way. So I want to add a click listener here in JavaScript to this element, and um, and then call call the server. Okay. So for example, we want to call a new function. Uh, sorry, method here. Uh, show not or let's say click notification and we can pass the um, coordinates of the um, click event and we can show the notification here let show actually let's do it in a nicer way message equals string dot format clicked at then some number and another number x or y and we show that message so we want to call that that method from here in order to enable that we need to mark this with a client callable otherwise we won't be able to do it um, and uh, let's create, for example, we can create uh, a new uh, init function here that receives the element that's going to uh, kind of receive the clicks. But we need also something to be able to call this show click notification method. And so that's going to be the view because it's in the view after all, right? It's in this class. Uh, so it makes sense. Now we want to take this element and on click we're gonna say that uh, uh, this is JavaScript. <laughs> we're gonna say that um, we want to call the server. We want to call this. So the way to do that is we take the view and Vadin adds something special here, which is called server with that notation. So uh, dollar sign or money sign and then server. Then we can call um this method right there and pass for example event dot uh, client x event client y and um and yeah i think that that should work we need to add a comma here because these are uh, this is kind of a, a map right it's a javascript object and I think that should be it. Let's try it out. Okay, it's not working. Let's investigate. Uh, oh, of course. Uh, we're creating this uh, function, but we're not calling the function to init to initialize the <laughs> the the logic here to add this click listener. So we need to do it. So we already know how to do that. Get current, get page, execute JS, um, namespace, init. And then we, this, this time we need two two parameters. So 
um, oh, 0 and 1 and the first one was the element the I forgot to close this string the element is the image and the view is this so that should do the trick let me format this maybe and click now it works all right that was fun uh, thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video